everyone today we shall discuss exercise 8.1 question number 4 write each of the following as decimals right we'll solve all the problems the first one is a a is question number a question number a is 5 by 10 5 by 10 what is the rule if we divide a number by 10 then uh, 5 means what is the meaning of 5 first if you know that 5 if you write 5 here write 5 here that means decimal point is at the end of 5 right that means you have to take this decimal point on the left side if there is divided by 10 right if there is 100 suppose this one I mean let us find suppose 5 5 by let us take the number is 5 by 10 the number is 5 by 10 okay 5 means what 5 means what? 5 means the point is at the end of 5 that is here right now it is divided by 10 that means this point will go one step to the left side right that means it will be 0 0.5 it will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 or suppose 5 by 100 5 by 100 then how many zeros are there it is divided by 100 that means point was here right two zeros that means left side two places one two that is 0 0.05 right if you divide it by 1000 suppose 5 by 1000 5 by 1000 how many zeros are there three that means you have to place the point th uh, three digits left side suppose here one two three point zero right this is the way in which you have to find the number right this is the way right or here you can divide 5 by 10 then also you can get 0 0.5 how just divide 5 by 10 right that means point it will be 0 and 5 to 50 right but we will not divide we will we will use the division method that is 5 by 10 means 5 by 10 means it is 0 0.5 right 0 0.5 why because the point was at the end of 5 it is divided by 10 that means the point will shift towards left one place that is 0 0.5 right question number b question number b is what is that 3 plus 7 by 10 3 plus 7 by 10 right that is equal to 3 is the whole part and 7 by 10 is the decimal part right that is 3 plus 7 by 10 means 0 by 7 0 by 7 and 3 means what 3 means 3.0 at the end of 3.0 plus 0 0.7 if we add this one what we are getting you see that is 3.0 3.0 and 0 0.7 we are adding this one that means 3.7 3.7 right therefore the answer is 3.7 3.7 now question number c question number c is 200 200 plus 60 60 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 by 10 1 by 10 here you see up to 200 plus 60 plus 5 you add this number that is 200 plus 60 plus 5 this is the whole part that is 5 6 2 right that is we are getting 265 this is the whole part and this is the decimal part 1 by 10 right that we can write 265 265 plus 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 0 0.1 right if we add this one we are getting 265.1 right this is the solution of question number c next we will we'll solve question number d question number d is 200 question number c question number d question number d is question number d 
पूजन इस क्वेश्चन नंबर डी क्वेश्चन नंबर डी इज सेवेंटी सेवेंटी प्लस एट बाई टेन प्लस एट बाई टेन हेर यू सी सेवेंटी इज द होल पार्ट एंड एट बाई टेन इज द डेसिमल पार्ट दैट इज सेवेंटी प्लस एट बाई टेन मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवेंटी कैन बी रिटर्न एज सेवेंटी पॉइंट जीरो सेवेंटी पॉइंट जीरो प्लस Not eight, but it will be zero. Get rid of this one. Now next, let us solve seventy plus zero. Seventy can be written as seventy point zero. Seventy point zero plus zero point eight plus zero point eight. If we add the here, you see that is seventy point zero. And this is 0.8. If we add this one, what we are getting? That is 70.8. 70.8. The answer is 70.8. 70.8. This is solution of question number D. Now question number E. Question number E is 88 divided by 10. Divided by 10. That means Eighteen is the for where where is the point? Point is after eighty-eight, right? That means divided by ten. That is you have to shift the point one digit to the left side. That is eight point eight. That is eight point eight, right? E. Now F. Question number F is. What is question number F? F is four hole, four hole, two by ten, two by ten, right? We change into fraction. Right, that is 4 into 10, 40 plus 2, 42, 42 by 10. That means you are getting 42 divided by 10. You have to shift the point left side one place. Right, that is 4.2, 4.2. This is the solution of question number F. Next we will solve question number G. Question number G. Let us take question number G. Question number G is three by two, right? Question number G. Question number G is here we find question number G. Question number G is three by two is equal to three by two is equal to three by two three by two, right? Now what if we do? There is no 10 in the denominator, right? You have to make it make 10. So you write in this way that 3 by 2 can be written as that 2 may be multiplied by 5 to get 10. Therefore, numerator will be also multiplied by 5, right? That is 3 by 15 and 5 to the 10. 15 by 10, that means the point will be shifted one place. To the left side, that is 1.5. Right? G. Now H. H is 2 by 5. 2 by 5. 2 by 5 can be written as 5 multiply with 2 to get 10. Right? That is 2. If we multiply the numerator also, 2 into 2, that is 4 by 10. 4 by 10. That is equal to 0.4. 0.4 because you have to shift the point one place towards the left. Now question number I. Question number I is 12 by 5. 12 by 5. To make the denominator 10, you have to multiply 5 with 2. 5 into 2, and this is 12 into 2. 12 to the 24, and 5 to the 10. You have to shift the point towards left one place. That is 2.4. 2.4. This is the solution of question number I. Next, we will solve question number J. Question number J is question number J. What is question number J? Find question number J. Question number J is Next, find question number J. Question number J is three hole, three by five. Right? 
that means we can find 3 into 5 15 plus 3 18 by 5 18 by 5 now you have to make the denominator 10 or 100 and multiply 5 with 2 and you have to multiply the numerator also by 2 18 into 2 18 to the 36 36 by 5 to the 10 36 by 10 that means you have to shift the point on the left side one place that is 3.6 3.6 now k k is what is the value of k 4 hole 4 hole 1 by 2 1 by 2 then change it into fraction 4 to 8 plus 1 9 by 2 that is 9 by 2 to make the denominator 10 or 100 you multiply it by 5 and you have to multiply the numerator also by 5 that is 5 9 45 5 to 45 and 5 to the 10 that means it is 4.5 4.5 this is the solution of question number 4